So we got our trailer for Sun and Moon, our official trailer, our good trailer, and I'm looking at them right now. I can, okay, I understand the game is Pokemon Sun and Moon geared towards younger children, not necessarily the late 20s, early 30s fans that are actually playing it, but, so, Pup Leo, I get that they're trying to say, oh, you know, in the circus, and even judging from the pictures that they shouldn't have been doing a backflip, and it's even balancing Rowlet on a ball, in a ball of water, you know, it's obviously supposed to be a circus performance Pokemon, and its nose is like a ball, like it's balancing a ball on its nose, very clever, but it kind of looks like something you would see in a Disney cartoon. And I can easily say it's the one I like least out of all of them. If anything, because of the trend of the female character in, you know, the anime, always being a performer, wanting to be an idol, I can see probably her having that one. In fact, I'd had to say Pup Leo is likely to be with Satoshi too, but it's more likely to be with the female. Um, Litten, I think, is a pretty bold design. I mean... It's got, its primary color is black. All of our previous starters, the primary color is red or orange. In this case, we are getting a primarily black starter Pokemon that is red as its secondary color. And in the art that we've seen for it, where it's blowing a fireball, ember most likely, you see its hair standing on end. And what's interesting about that is when the hair that's standing on end turns red, but it doesn't have any actual redness on its back. So that's kind of a cool feature. Like what, they're showing. A little bit of biology in the animation or at least in that picture it'll probably be in the game too because the graphics are better i'm not too fond of this one either to be honest i mean it's just not like eye catching or grabbing or even dynamic and it just doesn't like it looks like something you would find on route six you know what i mean like it looks like well lit leo pretty much Rowlet, which is probably the one I'll be picking, and don't think I'm going to be speaking any bit better about it, is our grass type. It's not, it's got very little green on it. Not that, hmm, well, Chikorita was mostly yellow, but it had the big green leaf. In fact, this is the least plant looking. Oh no, wait, so Viper. No, because it, this is the less, least organic looking, I should say, of all the grass starters. I kind of like that they were showing it, like, flinging off its feather, its leaf feathers at the, you know, opponent, it looks like it's something, but it doesn't look like it should be a starter Pokemon, and like I said, I do like this one, but it doesn't look like it should be a starter, a starter type, or a starter Pokemon, just because, you know, but it's still a bold choice, I think, making it, you know, what it, like, <laughs> it's so, it, mm. I mean, it's a nice coloring, don't get me wrong. And like I said, I'd probably use this monster or at least try it out if I found it along the way. So, I... Mm, I don't understand the decisions he made for the starters, but, you know. Then there's the very mysterious White Lion, which looks like the Mirage Liger. Oh, my God. And it's got that thing right here, too. That was really awesome. Finally... And then there's the bat with the moon. Mm, it doesn't really do it for me. In fact, it looks like it's all about its big wings that are just like big wings. Big wings. And, <laughs> like, but watch. I'll wind up liking that one more than Mirage Liger of the Sun. Finally, we got to see what the region looks like. I hope that's not the whole region. I really hope that's just like... Like, someone said it was based off Hawaii. I really hope, you know, that little island that we see that we that we start out on is, like, like, you leave that and go to a much bigger continent, which would be really cool. Or even if you go to other islands and every island has a different, you know, theme to it. I'm really... I'm really hoping that it's not the whole thing because that is a very unexciting looking map. It's... Surrounded by water, and IGN does not like its water. So, you know, like, there's so much that they teased, and there's so many speculation videos. I'm not going to be one of them. I'm just merely saying what I think. And I gotta say, as a as a final thought, 
I don't like these starters. I've been playing since Pokemon Red and Blue. I played Blue. I, I just can't like them as starter Pokemon. Like, I can see them being in Wild Encounters, but who knows? Maybe when they evolve, they'll be like, oh, that, that, that's what I want. And, you know, we still got until November 18th until, you know, we're actually going to be playing these games. So I shouldn't, we, we should not, as fans, be saying, oh, I'm starting with that one, I'm starting with that one, I'm starting with that one. No, 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 no. Let's at least wait to see, you know, because most of us started with Charmander, and let's face it, that was the worst choice. But if I had to do it again, like I did in Leaf Green, I would totally start with Charmander again. Although I do like me some Torchic. I do. But yeah, um, oh no, my l true final thought is, it'll either be Publio or Litten that Satoshi will have in the anime. I can't see him having Rowlet just because it looks like it's a tricky and smart Pokemon and he usually uses flashier ones. So there will either be a rivalry with Litten and Pikachu or, you know, like I said, because it's silly and it'll be flashy, Puplio. But yeah, that's all I got for now. And like I said, I am really looking forward to getting that white lion. So it's pretty safe to say I've already chosen Pokemon Sun.